Hey, hey, howdy ho, howdy ho, hey, what's up guys, it's Pixelated to follow, thanks for stopping by, and welcome back to the Teutonic Hot Seat Campaign, this is episode number 16, or turn number 16, and I'm commanding Lithuania, so let's go ahead and get started here, Thieves Guild, um, yes, I do want a Thieves Guild, because that will help our security, and hopefully make our spies a little bit better, uh, the Holy Roman Empire. I'm moving my forces now and should be there soon. Alright, so if you remember in the last episode, I sent him a, uh, a message a message asking him uh, to send some forces over to the west side of the Polish front. So Poland's going to be surrounded, attacking everyone. And uh, Russia, okay, so also in the last episode I asked him for the two settlements below because we made an agreement that if I just looked the other way while he was attacking Lionheart, then uh, he would give me a couple settlements. I did a little bit more. I did some, you know, some extra credits. I killed one of Lionheart's major armies, and so that made it a lot easier for him. So that's nice. So I think I, I rightfully deserve those settlements, if I do say so myself. And uh, overall, we're fourth, which means that we're in last. Hmm. Very unfortunate. Uh, we are on the downfall right now for Lithuania. Poland is on the rise, but it won't be for long. Uh, Legend of Total War, he's like taken everything basically. He's taken like 50% of the map. <laughs> Maybe not quite 50, but pretty soon he will. If he attacks me, to be honest, he's just going to steamroll me to the dirt. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And what do we got here? Novgorod. He's got it, some armies and some generals. Looks like he's just putting them in uh, little camps here. I see, I see that tactic. I see that tactic. Alright, um, see what to do. Okay, so if you look over here, this is something I was worried about. Legend, he took out some of my settlements. Now, that's just, you know, the sacrifice I'm going to make. I'm going to have to lose settlements to Legend because he's sending an army over and he's helping me fight Poland. So if he wants to take a couple settlements, I can't really argue with the guy. So hopefully maybe Poland can send an army over, take this back, and then maybe I can counter strike and take it back. Who knows? I doubt that's going to happen, but a boy can dream, can't they? So, or can't I? <laughs> um... So what to do? So if we look around at my armies here, I've got a bunch of generals just kind of hanging out. So I've got three here. Let's see, I got some catapults there. Three there. Okay, so I really want to take this settlement. The thing about this settlement though is that I've got a spy in over here. So if we click on this spy and go over the settlement, I've got a 5% chance of taking it over or getting my spy in there. So that's a really low percentage. That means he's probably got some spies in there himself. So we need to be careful about that. So if we do take it over, he's probably going to just open the gates. So what to do, what to do. I think what I am going to do is send, um, I'm going to send a catapult like this. And then I'm going to send a couple generals. So I'm going to send these two generals. These two lads right here. And I think I'm going to send a couple cav units. So we don't really need a huge force to take out this, this settlement here. But we do need a force. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean and you mean what I know. So I think that's pretty good. So our catapult's not quite in range. But next turn they will be. And let's just get our priests, like, right here, just to look at what he's got. Polish nobles, that's it. Well, my only concern is that he might have armies over here. So, there's really no reason to have my spy into this fort. So, I'm just gonna kind of go this way. Yep, he does. Let's see, what do we got here? Um, it looks like a pretty strong army, and he has a catapult. But the catapult won't be able to reach over here. So, let's go ahead and build... A fort that's gonna cost a lot of money unfortunately money that we barely have I hope that legend does not take the settlement from me because I dedicated so much money to this damn settlement I have to take it if I want to grow and also hopefully these two settlements down here they're technically mine but not quite yet so hopefully that will increase our economy and we can turn this turn this uh, little little campaign around so Let's see. I know I've got a couple spies in here. 
So, you know what? Why don't I just continue to try to get more spies in there? Just because the more spies I have in there, the more the better the odds of me getting inside Kunichburg. <laughs> I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Alright, I got another spy in here though. See, you got a 58 chance of getting into into here. Hmm. Hmm. 11% chance, 87% chance. Let's just go ahead and get this spy down here. Because what we're going to do... Oh, look at this army. That's a full force. That's his main force right there. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do is go down here. And uh, try to take Kunibug. Kunibug. With my spies. And when we take out this settlement. Maybe go down here. Take out this one and head north. I, I really need to take the opportunity here. To take out Kunibug. I really do, because I'll have four spies in there if everything goes well. So, that sounds good. Now, with our gold, what I'm going to do is pay for a spy. And let's see where we can do that. A priest? No, we don't need a priest. We need a spy. Here we go, a spy. We need it. I want to get at least one spy every turn. And really, unfortunately, that's all of our gold, basically. We don't really have a lot of gold, so we're going to have to do some... Uh, Disbanning, uh, mostly of the, mostly of the the, what are they called, um, mercenaries? Excuse me, sorry, I forgot, <laughs> forgot. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of, because we really need to save some money. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to get rid of all those guys. Oh my god, that's terrible. We're doing terrible with finances. Let's just get rid of all the mercenaries. Maybe we should spread around these uh, generals a little bit. Um, I don't think he's going to attack me here. I don't think he can. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think he can. So I'm going to go ahead and send uh, the prince right here. That should make them a little bit happier. We're going to put normal tax rate. And see, by spreading out the, the generals, they can better govern the settlements. So let's go ahead and take this guy, move down here, and then we can turn off auto. And let's see, can we do high? Can we do normal? Uh, we're just going to have to do normal. Uh, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. So that's that looks pretty good. Got our general in here. Uh, let's turn off growth. Let's do high. Oh, we can do very high. Nice. That's that's nice. So that should help out our economy a little bit. Yes. So we're doing a lot better. Not amazing, but we're doing better. Low tax rate over here. We should probably upgrade this soon. Um, can we do... Ugh. Ugh. Alright, we gotta keep it on growth over here. God, we have we really are missing out on a lot of opportunities here. We're hurting. We're hurting, guys. Um, so I really just want to save the rest of my gold so I can uh, spend more. Spend more and do more by the next turn. I'm not really doing much for this war. I do have my small army here marching that hopefully I can take out um, this settlement here. Horadna. Hor Harada? Harada? I don't know how to find terrible with names. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm thinking about sending a message to Legend of Total War saying like, Hey, can I have this settlement? And you can focus on this one. Um, let me go ahead and just do that now. So, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, we're on the decline. We are on the decline. So, if we look at... Let's just real quick look at the factions here. Um, so the, the players that are out right now are, is Lionheart, the Mongols, uh, the Teutonic Order, they're out of the game, um, Poland is still in the game, and they're doing well, look at that, they're skyrocketing, sky, skyrocketing, uh, Denmark is out of the game now, so it's down to just four, it's down to Russia, it's down to, um, to, uh, Norway, then we've got me, Lithuania, but I'm on the decline. And we have the uh, the Holy Roman Empire, which they're doing all right. They're, do they're doing better than me. They're they're on the rise, but they're kind of leveling leveling out a little bit. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. 
Um, so, oh yeah, that's right. I'm sending a message. <laughs> I should do that. I should do that. All right, let's let's go ahead and say. Harada, or nah. Have a small force going for that settlement. Um, just letting you know. It's mine. So, yeah. And hello, everybody. Oh, oh, words are hard. Everybody on... Uh, no, no, uh, let's say, he and hello, subs of legend, legend of total war. You guys are probably watching me type and you're like, this is the most painful thing I've ever seen. All right. Just letting you know, it's mine. So yeah, and hello, subs of legend of total war. There we go. Let's, let's send that. That sounds like a good message, and I think we're going to end the turn right here. We've done everything possible. See, how much are we making with this? 42 florins per turn? That's pretty terrible. All right, so, yeah, we've we've done everything possible that we can here. I'm just trying to play conservative, but I'm still playing a little aggressive here. I've got this small force, and, uh, yeah, we're kind of hurting right now, but hopefully we can kind of grow once we get these two settlements. We're going to be back to our uh, back to our healthy healthy selves, maybe, hopefully. We'll soon find out. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's always a pleasure. And, uh, yeah. I will see you in the next one. Oh, wait. Let me go ahead and end the turn. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Holy Roman Empire. Good luck, my friend.